Mo Lines United will line up. They have made a couple of changes to their starting lineup. And we see Tajay Cooper coming in uh, to the back, the number three. He'll be alongside Jaheim Palmer, Taraj Andrews, and Enrique Gordon. Maximus Davis, of course, is the one between the sticks in the middle of the patch. Javon Brown on the left, Rashawn Livingston on the right, Jeremy Nelson and Marvin Williams down the middle behind strikers Jason Wright and Thorne Simpson in a 4 4 2, Chris Taylor. Yeah, 4 4 2, Thorne Simpson preferred up front to Tevin Scott. This was trying to find that combination for Jason Wright who couldn't quite get going in the first game. Had some good looks, Jason Wright, but unable to convert. Tajay Cooper, the 19 year old from Trelawney, gets a, a, a big start. Richardo White is now between the sticks instead of Eric uh, Edwards. Uh, they have a back four, Philander Wing, Rashawn Amos, Joel Cunningham and DeAndre Cunningham unchanged. In the middle of the park, Marlon Martin, Jamon Shepard, Jaheem Thomas unchanged. And up top, Warner Brown will play through the middle. Kimani Arboin has been shifted to the left. Shea Smith still on the right. Right move, I think Warner Brown, they're playing in a 4-3-3. I think Warner Brown, more of a natural striker. I think Kimani Arboin with his inch... As we take a look at the full-time highlights here, Shea Smith's effort straight to goalkeeper Maximus Davis. Then Arboin playing this one inside and Warner Brown's effort taking a deflection and going wide of the mark. Shepard's ball inside was cleared out. And then Philando Wing driving this one. And Davis moving across to his right. Got a hand on it, but it was not strong enough and Wing Celebrating his first goal in the Jamaica Premier League. Driving effort. And Wing on the score sheet. Right. Now Livingston and he dragged that one. Took a slight deflection there. And Arboine, he was having fun. Wing sending it across and couldn't quite convert on that occasion. Arnett Gardens, Livingston with a wonderful ball inside. And that was pushed over by Richard Smith, the header coming in from Jason Wright. And Wright instrumented again into the path of Simpson, who really should have done better there. And this was a lovely run by Jaheim Thomas. Laying it off to Smith. Smith on a platter. And uh, came off Warner Brown. Tried to clear his line to Jay Cooper. But right into the path of the unrushing Warner Brown. And then Arboin. Looks so dangerous on the left hand side. and. Took a shot and it took a wicked deflection. It was going goalwards. Yeah, but the deflected effort flew past Maximum Maximus Davis. And our boy again touching it inside. And this was a really good goal. Playing it around the area. Shepard with the final pass to Arboin, getting his second of the game. And a wonderful finish there. Looked a lot more dangerous on the left hand side. Arboin cut again, and he was very much involved in the interplay there. And that was the fourth of the game. Could have put one back before the halftime interval. Malides United. Wonderful turn that was Taraj Andrews and then the finish left a lot to be desired. In the second half now, so much open space for Arnett Gardens. Jamon Shepard should have opened his scoring there in the Jamaica Premier League. Still looking for his first goal, Shepard. And then this effort from Tevin Scott who came on as a substitute in the second half. Deflected wide and then Warner Brown having a couple of bites here, a couple of blocks. He'll set it up for Jamon Shepard who, again, didn't do a lot with it. And then Gerald Neal with a delightful ball inside and 
Warner Brown from point blank range. In the aftermath of that, he could only go on bended knees. Should have scored. He knows it. On another day, he could have had a hat trick. And then that was a wonderful block by Eric Edwards, denying Jaquim Palmer. Malines United had 13 shots, three of which were on target, and the Guns had four of their 14, or six of their 14 shots on target. The 26 fouls committed in this game. A couple of the other guard cards were shown to the Arnegans men. Malines United had more corner kicks, but Arnegans had more possession at 57%. Kimani, first of all, congratulations on your manager match performances. For performance, just one goal last season, two goals now in two games for you. It's an excellent start. Yeah, I've been working. I've been. I, I looked at the pass and I see I need to score more goals, and that's what I've been working on all preseason long. In the first match, you played as a central striker. Today, out wide, you seem more comfortable in that position. Do you rather that? Well, it's the coach' decision. Wherever I perform at in training, he put me there, and I was playing well at the wing for the last week. So I guess he take the chance and put me out on the wing, and it was well deserved. It's certainly working for you, Kimani. Congrats on the game today, and we look forward to seeing more goals from you this season. Yeah, for sure. That's the aim. Um, the team, there's a, there have been a lot of doubt in the team, and we are here to prove a point, prove to all the people, all who say the key players them gone. Yeah, we there see them. Most of us, the youngsters, them work with them, get the thing together, get the core, and yeah, move forward. Well, you made a big point today. Congrats. All the best. Yeah, thank you, Kimani.